serious. The stock price of Amazon just hit an all-time high, around $1,127.37. That's the all-time record high. But this company is under intense criticism for being much too big and much too powerful. We have with us this morning the author of this book, The Four, The Hidden DNA of Amazon, Apple, Facebook and Google. The author is the principal critic of Amazon. Scott Galloway is his name. He's an NYU business professor. He's a socialist, but we'll have him on the show. How are you, son? <laughs> with, with that, I'm, I'm doing just great. I'm, but I'm, I didn't know I'm the principal critic. I'm right up. You overestimate me. You are now, because okay. you're on the most watched <laughs> business you, news program in America, and that's right. this program. Now, seriously, yeah. you want to rein Amazon in. I got it. Okay. And I don't need to know why. I want to yeah. know how you would do it. Sure. So first off, we have a company that can take the value of any consumer stock down 10 or 30 percent just with press releases. That's true. So I think that's dangerous because a component of a robust market okay. is that no one company or person can control the markets. I believe if I were advising Amazon, and I'm not, I would prophylactically spin AWS because I think Amazon shareholders would win. I think these two companies, as two distinct companies, would be worth more to Amazon shareholders and would force Amazon's retail unit to operate not at such a loss that puts such pressure on the rest of the retail but ecosystem. That would be Amazon's choice. To Absolutely. spin off their cloud business yeah. would be their choice. Yep. I'm talking about external, outside yep. pressure, which would have a go at Amazon and make them change, forcibly make them change, forcibly rein them in. I don't see how you can do that. Do you? Sure. So I think if that happens, yeah. and, it would, and regulation would be a blunt instrument, but I think if and where it happens is in Europe. Because in the U.S., we register a lot of upside from big tech and Amazon. As an example, Amazon is the number one recruiter out of my class at NYU Stern. Is that right? They're really? Number one. Ten years ago, it used to be American Express and investment banks. Now, far and away, it's Amazon. We register a lot of upside here in the U.S. How do you Hold feel on. about that? I feel <laughs> great about it. They've, they're creating great jobs for my kids. I, 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 I should disclose, I own Amazon stock. I'm a prime member. I just wonder if over time, a company that has this kind of dominance in the markets and can operate on a different set of rules because the marketplace keeps bidding their stock yep. up despite the fact they show no profits. So you're, you're, you're European. War analogy. End of World War II, Germans had better tanks, better guns, better morale, but the Allies had 38 gallons of gasoline for every one the Germans had. So we overwhelmed them with brute force. Amazon is the business that shows up to every mm. sector with 38 gallons well, of gasoline. Well, they said that about just, IBM during yeah, the Reagan era, and Microsoft blew them up, fair right? Point. So let the markets. Fair point. Whenever pundits like me are saying a company is too powerful, it usually signals they're about to go into structural <laughs> but why, decline. But why, <laughs> but why spin off their big money maker, the cloud? That's the, no, they wouldn't do it. Net profit. They're not going to do, do that. Do that. They I think do. they might do it prophylactically. Why? I, I think. But, but wait a second. I've got to get to the point. Sure. How would you make? The, how would you rein them in? They're I'm not, not going to do it themselves. I, I, well, I, I'm not sure I agree with that, but I do think there's the European regulators' backbones are stiffening. So what do they do? Just tax them out of existence, or try well, to do that? F fines. Um, For what? Anti-competition. There's a lot. Because that's the favorite I, I would one of the not EU. underestimate Margaret Vestager's ability to come up with reasons to right. find and regulate these companies. Right. So you think the, the attack on Amazon will come from the Europeans? Like all not big from conflicts the over the last hundred years, the war against big tech is going to break out in continental Europe. No university buildings or hospital wings are named after Facebook or Amazon billionaires in Europe. They register none of, a fraction of the upside, but a lot of the downside in terms of anti-competitive or job destruction, mm. which is going to stiffen the backbone of EU regulators. You're going to see these guys get hit hard in mm. Europe. Okay.